In the passage from Daniel 6.10, we are introduced to a striking example of God's unwavering love for us, demonstrated through Daniel's faithfulness. Even in the face of adversity, knowing that the law against prayer had been signed, Daniel persisted in his spiritual practice. He went to his chamber, with windows open towards Jerusalem, and, on his knees, maintained his communion with God through prayer and thanksgiving three times a day. This gesture was not a novelty in his life, but a habit cultivated from early on, a testimony of his love and commitment to the Lord. Through Daniel, we learn the value of maintaining a constant relationship with God, regardless of external circumstances reflecting the importance of having our own rituals that strengthen our spiritual connection. Daniel's consistency in seeking God invites us to reflect on our own spiritual practices. The question that arises is, what are our daily habits that draws closer to the Creator? The key to a deeper relationship with God lies in the consistency with which we turn to Him dedicating time to nourish our spirit. Drawing near to God is not only an act of faith, but also a practice of love and devotion, which transforms us and brings us closer to the divine in unimaginable ways. Jesus, in teaching about the importance of spiritual food, reminds us that life is not sustained by bread alone. In his words, man shall not live by bread alone, he opens our eyes to the need to nourish our souls. Jesus proclaims himself the bread of life in John 6:35, promising that those who come to him shall not hunger, and those who believe in him shall never thirst. This powerful metaphor underscores that only Christ can fully satisfy our deepest spiritual desires and needs. As we become diligent in seeking the Lord and feeding our spirit with the true bread of life, we discover a transformative truth in Jesus. We find everything we could desire or need. This recognition not only fills our hearts with love and gratitude, but also guides us to the understanding that God's love for us is deep and comprehensive, manifesting in diverse ways and inviting us into an eternal relationship with Him. Therefore, like Daniel, we are called to cultivate spiritual practices that keep us steadfast in faith and close to the heart of God, where we truly find our strength, purpose, and ultimate satisfaction. We never cease to remember that only Jesus Christ has the ability to complete us in every aspect. He, being the bread of life, invites us to an intimate relationship with God, where spiritual nourishment transcends mere physical sustenance and leads us to spiritual fulfillment. To cultivate consistency in our communion with God, it is essential that we dedicate ourselves not only to nourishing our spirit, but also to strengthening our faith. As our faith expands, God's presence becomes more tangible in our lives, illuminating our hearts with the certainty of His necessity and unconditional love. This growth in faith not only ignites an inner fire, but also fuels an unceasing desire for the Lord, encouraging us to seek Him more fervently. Faith has the power to transform our perception of reality allowing us to see beyond the visible and tangible. It challenges us to trust in the invisible, to walk by faith and not by sight, as the Bible teaches us. In the face of adversities, such as illnesses, faith enables us to see God's presence and healing power instead of the pain. Therefore, faith is crucial for us to receive the impossible and overcome obstacles of doubts, discouragement, and challenges that may arise. Nurturing our faith is an act of spiritual resilience and deep trust in divine providence. Being vigilant and attentive to the signs of the times 
is another essential practice to maintain a consistent relationship with God. Matthew 24, 42 warns us about the importance of remaining awake and aware. For we do not know the time of Christ's return. This vigilance not only keeps us aligned with biblical prophecies, but also motivates us to examine our lives in the light of God's will, ensuring that we live in a way that reflects His love and purposes. Prayer is the vehicle through which we strengthen our connection with God, drawing near to Jesus and facilitating our journey toward spiritual victory. By making prayer a regular practice, we open our hearts to continuous communication with the Creator. Being intentional in our prayer life, dedicating increasing time as we progress, allows us to experience God's revelation more deeply. Prayer is not only a spiritual practice, but an expression of our desire to know and be known by God. Therefore, I encourage each one to pursue greater consistency in their relationship with God, whether through reading the Word, nourishing the Spirit and faith, or dedicating themselves to prayer. As we strive to cultivate these spiritual practices, we will discover that God reveals Himself in surprising ways, strengthening our faith and the depth of our relationship with Him in Jesus. We find not only the bread of life that sustains us, but also the eternal source of love, hope, and renewal. As we dedicate our hearts and minds to walking with Christ, we embark on a transformative journey where we discover the beauty of a fruitful relationship with the Lord. As we become consistent in our faith, a miracle happens within us. Our hearts are renewed. Our passions and desires are shaped according to God's will, reflecting the love He pours into us. This transformation guides us to love what God loves, desiring what pleases Him, a testimony to His renewing power in our lives. In Proverbs 16, 3, we are encouraged to commit to the Lord all our works with the promise that He will establish our plans. With this spirit, we approach God in prayer, surrendering to Him every aspect of our lives, our dreams, goals, families, relationships, and everything we aspire to achieve. By committing our ways to the Lord, we declare our total dependence on Him, trusting that His sovereign will will guide us to a blessed future. This act of surrender is not only a declaration of faith but also a commitment to live according to divine precepts. By submitting our hearts and minds to Jesus, we express our unwavering confidence in Him and His Word. We recognize the importance of aligning our thoughts and desires with the heart of God, seeking purity and holiness in all that we do. In a world that often pressures us to conform to its standards, Prayer becomes our most powerful weapon, a means of seeking divine strength to resist temptation and remain steadfast in our devotion to God. The journey with Christ is marked by the courage to face the unknown, keeping our eyes fixed on God, our source of hope and strength. We do not fear the future, for we know that we do not walk alone. The Lord is with us guiding our steps and protecting our hearts. By deeply committing ourselves to following Christ, nothing in this world can shake our faith or divert our attention from the love and purpose we find in Him. Thus, as we surrender completely to Jesus, we open our lives to be molded according to His will. We ask God to strengthen us against temptation and keep us faithful to Him Regardless of circumstances, our prayer is that in all we do, we may glorify God, living lives that reflect His transformative love and boundless grace. In Christ, we find not only salvation, but also true freedom to live a full and blessed life, anchored in the eternal promise of His unconditional love. I echo at this moment the words of Psalm 16, 8 to 9. 
declaring my firm trust in the Lord, who is always by my side. In this trust, I find the promise of not being shaken by adverse circumstances. My heart overflows with joy and my soul rejoices under the care of the Lord. For even without knowing the challenges that tomorrow may bring, my faith remains unshakable. I believe that even what the enemy intends for evil, God will turn into good, evidencing his providence and protection in my life. This faith is not based on knowledge of the future, but on the certainty of God's constant care. Who is my refuge and strength? The peace I feel does not derive from circumstances, but from the knowledge of who God is. My inexhaustible source, my tireless protector, he captures all my attention and focus, directing me to the strength and comfort that only he can offer. My gratitude and praise rise to him, not only for what he has already accomplished, but for everything he continues to do and will yet do in my life. The courage to believe without fear is a call to trust expressed in Exodus 14:14, 14, 14, where we are assured that the Lord will fight for us while we maintain our peace. This prayer extends to a desire to boldly embrace God's promises without doubt, relying on His word that gives strength to the weary and power to the weak, as Isaiah 40. 29 to 31 promises the hope that by trusting in the lord we will be renewed and lifted above adversities like eagles able to run without growing weary to walk without fainting this is the faith i long to possess a faith that allows me to witness god's transformation in my life from mourning to dancing celebrating his endless grace and mercy Psalm 37, 3 to 6 reminds us of the beauty of trusting in the Lord and doing good, promising a secure and prosperous life. It invites us to delight in Him, ensuring that the desires of our hearts will be fulfilled. By dedicating our actions to the Lord and trusting in Him, we are promised hell, and our righteousness will shine brightly. This Bible passage is not only a reminder of God's faithfulness, but also an invitation to live a life of complete trust and surrender to Him, knowing that He will take care of us and guide us according to His perfect will. In the story of Daniel, we witness a sublime example of God's love for us, illustrated by Daniel's unwavering faith even in the face of adversity. Knowing the risk associated with the new law prohibiting prayer to any god or man except the king, Daniel did not hesitate. He continued his devotional practice, going to his upper room with windows open toward Jerusalem. There, on his knees, he prayed and gave thanks to God three times a day, maintaining his spiritual tradition. This act was not only a demonstration of faith but also of deep love and trust in God, revealing how God's constant presence inspires courage and peace, even in the most fearful circumstances. Jesus Christ, proclaiming himself the bread of life, offers an eternal promise of spiritual satisfaction and redemption. Those who come to him will never hunger or thirst again a powerful metaphor of divine love that satisfies our deepest needs. This invitation from Jesus highlights God's unconditional love for us, promising constant provision and eternal comfort for those who believe and trust in Him. Psalm 16, 8-9 reflects a deep sense of security and joy in the presence of the Lord. By always setting God before Him, the psalmist shares the confidence that he will not be shaken by adversities. This passage encourages us to keep our eyes fixed on God, ensuring that with Him by our side, we can face any challenge with a joyful heart and a peaceful spirit, resting in the promise of His protection and peace. Isaiah 40, 29-31 reminds us of the renewing power of hope in God 
Those who trust in the Lord will find new strength, soaring above life's difficulties like eagles in the sky. This divine promise shows us that even when we feel weak and overwhelmed, God gives us strength to overcome fatigue and exhaustion. Through this passage, we are inspired to renew our faith and hope in God, trusting that He will sustain us on our journeys and enable us to walk without fainting. Each of these biblical passages, from the story of Daniel to the promises of Jesus and the words of hope from the Psalms and prophets, weaves a rich tapestry of God's love for us. They demonstrate how, through faith, hope, and trust in God, we can find strength, comfort, and satisfaction. God's love surrounds us, guiding us through every challenge and lifting us above the storms of life, promising constant presence and inexhaustible provision for all who trust in Him.